And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Khan, which was a request from Michael via our Discord and Patreon. So thanks. It was an oviraptorid that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Mongolia. And it looked a lot like other oviraptorids. It did not, however, have a crest on its head like oviraptor. Khan had a beak and no teeth and a short tail and a small body. Oh. That's okay. (laughs) Three specimens have been found, and two individuals were about four feet or 1.2 meters long, and the third individual found was larger. One study found that that was six and a half feet or two meters long. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good size. So it may have been an omnivore. It probably had feathers. It definitely had big feet. (laughs) (laughs) Starting to sound kind of (laughs) weird. You could say that about pretty much any dinosaur. So articulated feet in all three specimens were well-preserved, and the whole foot is about 32% of the length of the hind limb. The type species is Khan McKennaei. It was first found with its tail sticking out of a small hill, and then the second specimen was found near it, and both of them had broken necks, so they were killed by the same event. Wow, weird. Yeah. At first, it was thought to be in Genia in 1995 and 1996, but a 2001 study found enough differences in the hands to make it its own genus. So it was named in 2001 by James Clark and others. And the genus name comes from the Mongolian word Khan, which means lord or ruler. The species name is in honor of paleontologist Malcolm Carnegie McKenna. It's closely related to Concoraptor, and the holotype is a nearly complete skeleton. So the first specimen was found in 1993, and then the other two specimens were found in 1995, and those two specimens found together have been called Romeo and Juliet and Sid and Nancy. Those are the ones that both have a broken neck? Yes. Oof. So the nickname Sid and Nancy is after the Sex Pistols bassist and his girlfriend, and the dinosaurs Sid and Nancy were, slash Romeo and Juliet, were buried alive when sand dunes collapsed on them and then were preserved from the sand dunes and heavy rains, and since they died together, they probably interacted with each other while they were alive. It's kind of a tragic death, which is how they got these nicknames. Because Romeo and Juliet and Sid and Nancy are also tragic pairs. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. So based on the Sid and Nancy specimens, Khan may have been a social animal. There's also remains of juveniles that have been found together in a bone bed, and so they died together, and maybe they lived in a flock. (laughs) A flock. Yeah. (laughs) Flocks of dinosaurs are always entertaining. There's a chance that we can see sexual dimorphism in Sid and Nancy. So these specimens were about the same size, same build, probably around the same age, but one of them had large bony structures in the tail, which may have been to support muscles used for tail feather displays like modern peacocks. Interesting. Yeah. Scott Persons and others ruled out pathology, so it's not an injury or disease or an infection or anything, and said that the structures were too different to be individual variation. And they also found that both of these specimens were adults based on fused vertebrae. Wow, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. So the, the thinking is that the one with the muscles for the tail feather displays was probably male, and the one with the smaller bony structures was probably female, and that would allow there to be more room and make it easier to lay eggs. The team did note that this instance of sexual dimorphism was linked only to Khan McKenna I, and there weren't enough specimens of other oviraptorosaurs to know for sure. Yeah, now we got to look at all of them. Look at all the tails, see what we see. Mm-hmm. And look at that bone bed of the juveniles, because a lot of times the juveniles don't have those structures yet. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.